Hello guys, it is Chris here from Tanthers Gaming Community, and I'm hearing a lot of you guys don't know how to download Arma, the mods for it. And I'm just going to show you a simple way to download any mod for Arma. First I'm going to show, just show Daisy how you can download theirs. You're going to look up Daisy's site, first of all. And then you're going to go down to Daisy Mod. It's basically just going to be a site. You're going to click on this big guy with the AK-47. It downloads. And then depending on how you want to, you can download it via whatever. I typically download it through 6 Launcher. I like 6 Updater more, but that's not out. But if you want to do it manually, say these two aren't working for you, you have to go click on whichever mirror you want. None of these are close to me, but you'll click on the mirror. And then it will use recommended you use 6 Updater. You're going to, odds are, if you're probably going to want 6 Updater. 6 Updater suit. So through here, you're going to go download 6 Updater. Once you're done with that, just enjoy. Launch the game. It probably will come with a 6 launcher. You can just launch Daisy Mods installed in an at folder inside your Arma 2 main folder. Next, I'm going to show you guys what is with Armaholic. Armaholic isn't just for mainly uh, mods. It also has levels. Right now, somebody... Elephant Island's a pretty cool map. I don't like it personally, but if you want to check out the uh, other maps Rocket has made, I just found out Rocket has one other map called Alpine. I'll just check on Daniel. It's, it's probably one of the higher ones. So you're going to go to Arma 2 Files. Based on what you want, add-ons is basically maps, things like that, scenarios, missions. Those are not mods. You just can download and put in inside your multiplayer mission folder. I'll show you how to do that right now. It's a small process, co-op. You wanna go up by hits. And let's go get dynamic zombie sandbox, that seems. Interesting. And it's usually a short thing. It's just 7 megabytes right now. I got 20, 16 seconds left. You're going to want WinRAR or 7-Zip just in case. If you're using Windows, it will come with the base model extractor, and you can most likely use that, but still. I'd recommend using WinRAR. I personally like it a whole lot more. You don't even need to buy the full version. Just use the trial forever. So you're going to go look for your program. Mine is under Steam here. Oh, Sony. Steam. Then you're going to want to go to Steam Apps, most likely, under your common folder. Then you can go to Operation Arrowhead. From there, here's all my at files I got. These are all my mods, basically. From there, Multiplayer Missions. You're just going to click on that. It will extract to it, and you're good.